so 10th class our today's lecture is video conferencing okay before i start this topic i have a question from you all think then answer using whatsapp you are calling your friend you are having a video call with your friend is it a video conferencing your friend is living in canada and uh, you are having a video call you make a video call to your friend is it a video conferencing yes yes divyansh unmute good morning sir very good morning sir agar ek bande ke sath hogi matlab to fir nahi hogi conference ha maine maine yahi pucha hai jo pucha bas wo maine yahi pucha hai aap apne friend se baat kar rahe ho to wo video calling hai ke video conferencing hai sir video calling agar two okay. or more people ke video conferencing hogi so uh, you are communicating with one person via video call that is a simple video call that is not video conferencing right now right now we are under video conferencing hamari ye class chal rahi hai and i am connecting with 43 students at present this is video conferencing where i can have face to face contact with each other i can share files i can share documents i can share pdfs i can share images i can share videos and all the persons who are part of this conference they can view that very information which as a host i am sharing okay so video conferencing is a two way video phone conversation between multiple participants a visual connection a two way video phone conversation that occurs between multiple participants between multiple persons okay right and as per the video conferencing it provides the transmission or exchange of images text files and other type of documents between person to person now what are the different examples of video conferencing softwares pehla to aapka zoom hi ho gaya google meet webex skype blue jeans google hand out uh, hangouts okay now what are the advantages of video conferencing first of all it saves time cost suppose you are the owner of a company and your head office is in chennai and all over india different branches are there now you cannot visit every branch and can have physical meeting with the members the best method is to go for video conferencing where persons from every branch scatter all over the india they can join you on zoom you can have meeting with them you can exchange ideas you can exchange your thoughts you can discuss about new plans new policies new way of doing work or any amendment that you have done into your company or any amendment you made in your product that every detail you can discuss with the members online face to face so without visiting them physically 
you are sitting at one place and exchanging the data right then meeting can be conducted across the globe across the globe means all over the world you can do this meeting aisa nahi hai ki india ka india ke log hi connect ho sakte hain canada ka person aapke sath join nahi ho sakta any person from any part can join okay we can see people and can hear them like i unmute you to ask question i unmute you to ask question i can ask you to on the video i can see you i can hear you you can see my video you can hear me right document can be viewed by all persons ye jo ppt maine show ki hai all the participants of my class they are able to view this ppt it is not uh, the fact that ppt is visible only to 20 persons and rest 35 are sitting uselessly every person who is here in the class can easily see this ppt so documents files can be shared with all persons who are a part of your conference okay ideas and knowledge can be communicated this already i have clear to you you can discuss every information every matter regarding your company regarding your product or any other topic excellent way to keep in touch with the friends or family suppose your father is working abroad and you want to talk to your father your whole family can sit and you can have a conversation with him okay clear or suppose your relatives are outside and you want to have communication with the relatives like somebody is in canada someone in australia someone in uh, new zealand so with all the relatives at one time you can have the face to face conversation right then moving over to the disadvantages of video conferencing now the most uh, biggest demerit is the hardware cost you need to have proper hardware installation you need to have proper softwares if you want to avail this facility like i am conducting the zoom class i am having laptop i am having good high speed internet connection okay i am having the web camera i am having the speakers headphones i am having the microphone so you are able to hear me very clearly so you need to incur cost on these hardware and software resources naturally it acts as a demerit also very fast internet connection is required if your connection is very slow the chances of getting disconnected from the meetings are very large okay so you need to have a good high speed connection hardware problems can occur this allowing some participants suppose your uh, keyboard is not working properly or your mouse is not working properly or some problem in your computer or laptop or your smartphone is not working properly so these hardware problems can act as a hindrance to connect with the video conferencing problem of different time zones canada ka time alag hai america ka time alag hai india ka time alag hai you are right now here is a day america it may be night you are attending the classes maybe your relatives are free at that place so sometime the problem of time can also be a hindrance in order to have the successful meeting video camera might not be able to see all parts of the room right now i have view of four students devyansh arshin mishti and jia if i have to see other students i have to scroll through it i have to scroll through the vertical bar so at one time i am not able to see other members right clear so these were the advantages and disadvantages of video conferencing now the next concept is requirements for 
video conferencing this question has come many times in the pre boards what are the basic requirements for the same you need to have multimedia pc you need to have a good video compression hardware video phone software you need to have a good internet connection and web camera then in what areas you can use video conferencing what are the different areas of application of video conferencing business businessman can conduct meeting like in the photograph also you can see see the image a business meeting is going on one chart is being discussed with the members on the video conferencing it is very much clear in the image only okay then distance learning distance learning is online education like right now sitting at your home you are attending online class suppose any child is not in jalandhar right now child is outside in chandigarh somewhere he or she can also attend the class okay if he has all the possible resources right telecommunication with the client this point is same in connection to business point you can have a full detail meeting with the clients you can discuss lot many things about your company with your clients legal environment telemedicine and media you have some legal problem you can have meeting with your advocates right clear telemedicine you can have guidance from expert doctors across all over the world right and media your social medias and all that so that was uh, for this ppt now i change the ppt and move over to the next topic of the day is this ppt visible so your next concept is e learning before i start e learning how much you know about e learning tell me how much you know about e learning raise your hand i will unmute you yes please you are 10th class students you are accessing so much of internet what is your knowledge about e learning don't read the ppt tell me your knowledge anyone yes please anyone what is e learning uh, yes arshin unmute yourself uh, yes sir so e learning basically stands for the electronic learning it it means that we can learn anything from the internet as we are having different websites and uh, and we can learn anywhere any time as as we are having the internet connection and whatever uh, we are we are having the proper hardware and software for this and we can learn anywhere any time and for example any e learning software for example we have an academy by jules and whatever okay okay uh any other child with some other thought any uh, okay prabhun what are your views about it ah uh, yes sir so e learning is electronic learning and we can learn any time anywhere with the proper resources we have and basically it is an interactive type of learning which which use animations text audios and videos to make the learning more interesting for the children okay fine good not bad so e learning is a short form for electronic learning learning that takes place online learning that takes place digitally using internet as the medium you take the learning you take online education in an electronically simulated environment electronically simulated means the environment is such that looks like the real physical classroom is going on 
जैसे टीचर क्लास में टीच करता है ऑफलाइन इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली सैमुलेटेड एनवायरमेंट मींस द सिनेरियो द एनवायरमेंट इज मेक इन सच अ वे इट लुक्स लाइक द रियल क्लासरूम ओके सो वॉट मीडिया आर इन्वॉल्व इन दिस ऑल द मल्टी मीडिया एलिमेंट आर इन्वॉल्व ऑडियो वीडियो एनिमेशन टेक्स्ट ग्राफिक्स राइट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ऑफ ई लर्निंग इज कैन बी डन एनी वेयर एनी टाइम यू आर हैविंग पार्ट टाइम जॉब मोस्टली अब्रॉड गोइंग स्टूडेंट हु आर लिविंग इन कैनेडा एंड ऑल दैट दे अवेल दिस फेसिलिटी because they are doing part time job also so after their part time job or after the timings of their job they set the timing for taking online education and it can be done anywhere any time no restriction on the area no restriction on the region or the country no restriction of the time you may have morning class you may have evening class you may have afternoon class the schedule the whole complete scenario is completely flexible it is up to you what time what schedule suits you okay now these are the various examples of e learning softwares moodle olat e front h5p seminar not seminar seminar vdemi articulate you density skill share by juice okay now these are the websites that provides e learning facility one thing i want to clarify over here suppose you get a question name two websites providing e learning facility you get a question name two websites providing e learning facility you will not write w3 school by juice this is wrong website puchi hai www.w3schools.com www.byjuice.com www.khanacademy.com complete url has to be given when examiner ask for the website सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न सी एस एस आप गूगल में लिखो लर्निंग सी एस एस फ्रॉम डब्ल्यू थ्री स्कूल डॉट कॉम ऐसा कुछ लिखो तो डब्ल्यू थ्री स्कूल का हाइपर लिंक खुल जाएगा जैसे आप उस पर क्लिक करोगे यू विल गेट ऑल कंटेंट विद एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर योर कंसर्न टॉपिक दैट इज सी एस एस लाइक दिस यू कैन स्टडी एनी मेटीरियल एनी थिंग using the online websites for e learning okay now what are the advantages of e learning beta is ppt clear to everyone na i hope no problem is coming to any child only arshin has given the response let me see how many are attending the class जितने थम ऊपर होंगे उतने बच्चे क्लास लगा रहे होंगे राहुल इज नॉट हेयर केशव इज नॉट हेयर जिया धवन इज नॉट हेयर राहुल नो जिया धवन नहीं है ईशा प्रीत भी नहीं है केशव नहीं है पुष्कर नहीं है परीक्षित हिमांशु जय आदित्य दे आर नॉट हेयर वनीता इज नॉट हेयर रणबीर इज नॉट हेयर अरियांश विवान कुमार इज नॉट हेयर भानु प्रताप इज नॉट हेयर लक्ष्य टंडन इज ओके लक्ष्य टंडन इज देयर सक्षम ग्रोवर इज नॉट हेयर तक्ष गरिमा गरिमा इज नॉट हेयर सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर एबसेंट टूडे एंड दैट टू इन कंप्यूटर क्लास ऑल राइट Yes, Karan Jyot, you attend only computer class. I know five class you miss, and you enter the computer class only. 
All right. Now advantages of e-learning. First is work fast. That is very easy point. The process is fast. As you log into the website, you start your lectures. Okay. Less expensive, not much expensive. Like right now you are taking online learning. So it is not any expensive project. Consistent delivery. Regular classes are going on. Regular six periods are going on and proper delivery of lectures is going as per the 40 minutes duration of the period, right? Without any break. Updated easily and quickly. You get a message for updation of the Zoom app. So that the recent changes which is done in the app or software, you can incorporate those. Learning anywhere, anytime. It is not dependent on any particular area. It is not dependent on any particular time schedule. It is flexible, right? Then can be easily managed. It is up to you. Like you are working, you are doing part-time job. It's up to you what time schedule suits you. So that neither your job get affected, neither your classes get affected. Clear? Self-directed and self-paced. The whole schedule is managed by you. You attend the classes. You take knowledge. Okay, teacher gives you the assignments. You do the assignments. You send the PDF to the teachers. So whole thing is managed easily by you people. Then disadvantages. Technical problem arises. The very common reason which students always send a message. Uh, net issue tha class nahi lag pai. So sometimes technical problem can might occur that creates a hindrance in having smooth connection with your class. Lack of computer knowledge. Suppose there is some illiterate person, he or she doesn't know anything about the internet connection or all that. So that person cannot avail this facility. Difficult to adopt learning approach. Sometimes the vocabulary or the accent used by the foreign teachers may not be clear to you, right? Problem related to authenticity of students. Is the student real student? The true student? Is the opposite party true to which we are dealing online? So authenticity becomes a question of doubt, right? Then in which areas e-learning facility is available? E-learning courseware? e-classrooms, assessments, e-simulation, game-based development, learning support, social learning, and MOOC. What is MOOC? Massive open online course. The courses which are available at large scale on internet. That is open for everyone. Courses available to everyone on the massive scale, on the large scale via internet. That is MOOC, Massive Open Online Course. Now, your next concept is e-banking. Your father has account in the bank. Your mother has account in the bank. They don't have time to visit the bank for the transactions. They are working people. They don't have time to visit banks. So what is the solution? Bank provide you a user ID and a password for the net banking, sitting at your office, sitting at your home, you can access your banking transactions via internet. You can access your transactions via internet. Clear? So e-banking stands for electronic banking. It is also known as your online banking or internet banking. They are interchangeable terms. E-banking, online banking, internet banking. They all are interchangeable terms. Right? So availing the banking facilities using internet as the medium is your electronic banking. You can access your financial transactions. You can transfer money. You can... Uh, uh, 
take money from your friend via online you can do payments online you can do pay your mobile bill electricity bill housing loan all things you can pay online like you are paying the school fees online some of you are paying the school fees online okay without actually visiting the institution so that is the online banking okay uh, how many of you have seen yono app how many of you have knowledge about yono app anyone might be your father is having this app and you sometime have seen that app anyone yono app is the sbi related app where you can check the balance in your account you can transfer money to each other and in a very fast way within a fraction of second just you need to have account number of your friend or relative and you can transfer the amount okay and a very secure app proper security is provided if you want to use yono app you need to use the device pattern or the lock screen pattern if you are not using lock screen or device pattern you won't be able to use the yono app okay so what are the other terms related to e banking pc banking mobile banking virtual banking internet banking right now what is pc banking pc banking is also a kind of online banking using which the customer can avail the banking facilities using his personal pc okay and all the financial transactions he or she can access from his or her computer or laptop mobile banking just i told you about yono app when you are accessing your banking transactions via smartphone via mobile device that is called mobile banking okay jaise yono app use karke yono app download from the play store and you can access your financial transactions okay then these are the websites of some popular banks that provide net banking facility kon वैसे आज आजकल तो सारे बैंक प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं ये मैंने कुछ पॉपुलर बैंक्स की वेबसाइट नोट की है axisbank.com bankofindia.com canarabank.com hdfcbank.com pnbindia.in onlinesbi.com okay if you know website of any other bank you can write but website should be correct and a legal and a valid website okay now what are the advantages of e banking fast transactions this is very much clear you can very fastly access your transactions instant notifications and alert suppose any person uses your debit card and uh, takes out the amount from the atm machine immediately you will get the message that such and such amount has been withdrawn at this particular time okay right suppose you have lost your atm card immediately you can report and you can block the atm card so that it is not uh, taken by any unauthorized person he or she can misuse it later on suppose you get salary aapke bank account mein aapki salary aayi hai to aapke mobile pe message aa jayega salary ka that your salary has been credited to your account benefits and reward to customers you know sbi provi provide po uh, reward points uh, if you are using debit card or credit card multiple times aapke points bante hain wo and that points can act as a reward convenient to use full security provided just i told you proper user id will be given proper passwords will be given if you want to use the yono app you have to enable the lock pattern or the device pattern then only you are able to use this then after that yono also enables to set one m pin 
it, it is uh, approximately five digit pin you don't want to enter your id and password you set five digit security code whenever you want to use the yono you enter that security code then only you will avail the transaction okay you get your mobile number registered with your bank if any unauthorized person tries to do any online transaction under your name you will get otp on your mobile you will get notification okay aap koi bhi online payment karo pehle aapke number pe otp aayega aap otp fill karoge to transaction successful hogi right transaction can be done anywhere any time that is already i have told you better customer service all the updates all the latest information is given to the customer via messages right